today we'll be doing motion of charged particle in uniform magnetic field so for the uh, force we have the formula f is equal to q v b so where q is charge v is the velocity sir wait for a minute okay your screen is not clearly visible when network issue is there yes sir a li little bit you left and then join again then it will be visible to you sir have you written anything uh, below physics ha i have written motion of charge particle below physics i have not written anything yes sir then it's clear now okay v stand for velocity and b is the magnetic field now suppose uh, you take an example here this is what your charge magnetic field by this this cross is no for charge and inside this one charge particle enter with certain velocity so what will be the motion of the particle that we have to derive so if charged particle will enter inside this so it will perform circular motion your charged particle will do circular motion charge q will be here this is direction of velocity force will be toward the center so here it is given f is equal to q v b have you studied about uh, centripetal force yes sir centripetal force value will be m v square divided by r so these two will be same q v b is equal to m v square divided by r so v we cancel finally what will get r is equal to m v divided by q v so this will be radius it means your particle will be doing circular motion have you written this much no sir write it and then tell it to me i will write next sir completed now next part which we have to understand we have to find time period t so prime formula of time period is circumference divided by velocity this 2 pi r is what circumference and v is velocity so how much time this charge will take to take one rotation so substitute the value now you write 2 pi r what is v at the place of v v you can write q b r divided by m do you have any problem you have got this no. from r is equal to mv upon qb therefore v is equal to qbr upon m so 
So R R cancel. You've got two pi m divided by Q B. This is your T. Frequency n is equal to frequency n. n is equal to one upon t. So this will become q b upon two pi m. Any problem to you? No sir. This particle has entered perpendicular to magnetic field. Perpendicular to magnetic field. Then you have got circular. So now this may be possible. It it is entering with an angle theta. Then what will happen? I should change the page. Yes sir. so when the particle will enter making an angle theta in that condition this will make uh, a path it will not be circular it will be in the form of helix helix you can say that your particle will be moving like this are you following this way suppose your particle had enter making an angle theta so its motion will be like this and this is called helix and radius of this path r is equal to m v upon q b this will is equal to v will become v sin theta perpendicular component upon q into v is time period time period this capital t is equal to 2 pi m divided by q b the linear distance traveled by particle the linear distance traveled by particle in the direction of the magnetic field in one complete circle is called the pitch p is called the pitch p of the path so p is equal to v into t so v will write v cos theta this is horizontal component of velocity into t so time period just now we have calculated v cos theta into your time period is 2 pi m divided by q b next part which we have to understand in this that is kinetic energy kinetic energy kinetic energy of charged particle moving in uniform magnetic field what is the formula of kinetic energy k is equal to 1 by 2 mv square are you there so substitute the value yes sir okay This k is equal to one by two m. At the place of v, you write R Q B upon m. Whole square. Have you written this much? Yes, sir. So this k is equal to. 
R square Q square B square divided by 2M. This will be kinetic energy, kinetic energy of charged particle. Done? Yes, sir. Okay. We have to do now next topic. That topic is called force on current carrying conductor placed in magnetic field. So for this purpose, what we have to do? We have to take a uniform magnetic field. This is your uniform magnetic field. Now suppose you keep a conductor inside this. 